But wars need a lot more than fighting spirit. You need money, you need weapons, and if possible, you need allies. Now, Israel has a lot of them. Western powers, they are Israeli allies. They may not join the counterattack on Iran, but they give Israel a lot of money. Who can play that part for Iran? I'm afraid there are very few candidates here. Iran has no friends in the Western world. Its top allies are Russia and China. You also have some marginal players like Syria, Venezuela, and North Korea. Beyond that, Iran only has friends, not allies. For example, India and South Africa. They're friends of Iran. But neither country will support Iran militarily. Both have called for de-escalation. Which leaves us with Russia and China. Will they come to Iran's rescue? Politically, we've seen positive signals. Beijing and Moscow call for de-escalation at the United Nations. But they also pointed to Israel's first strike. We have also noticed that, according to Iran, its military action was in response to Israel's aggression against its diplomatic premises, and the matter can be deemed concluded. Yesterday, you instantly reacted and condemned the actions by Iran. It is regrettable that, unlike the meeting today, you did not propose to convene the Security Council on the 2nd of April, whereupon Russian initiative an emergency meeting was called upon to discuss the Israeli strike against the consulate premises in Damascus. So they want peace. At the same time, they also understand why Iran hit back. It was not a first strike. It was a retaliation. But will this political support extend to military affairs? Russia has already helped a great deal. In 2007, Iran bought missiles from Moscow, the S-300 anti-aircraft system. Sanctions ended up delaying that deal, but the delivery was made in 2019. Iran is also eyeing the more advanced S-400 missiles, the same one that India has purchased. So Iran's air defense has a significant Russian contribution, same with fighter jets. Last year, Iran finalized a deal with Russia. They're buying Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets. It could be a game changer for Tehran. Their air force only has a few dozen jets, and some of them predate the revolution. So Russia could help them modernize. And what did Moscow get in return? For starters, an important ally in the energy market, plus a defense supplier. Iran has sold its Shahid drones to Russia. Reports say thousands of them have been deployed in Ukraine. Now, these are basically suicide drones. They don't fire at targets. They simply crash into them. So it's cheap and effective. Russia and Iran also have an ideological enemy in the U.S. Both are under U.S. sanctions, so they work together to bust them. In 2022, bilateral trade was around $5 billion. But last year, Russia and Iran decided to trade in local currencies, so chances are trade will improve. Then you have China. That's the other partner of Iran. It's a very different relationship, though. For China, Iran is a top source of oil. Around 10% of their crude imports come from Iran. Beijing is Tehran's biggest customer. Plus, you have a massive investment deal. China and Iran have signed a 25-year cooperation deal. Beijing is promising to invest $400 billion in Iran. Let me repeat that for you, $400 billion. So China is cultivating Iran as its top ally in the region. But will these countries support Iran militarily? Looks unlikely at the moment. Russia is already fighting a war in Ukraine. Will they focus on beating Kiev or defending Iran? It's a no-brainer for Putin. Also, Arab nations are leaning towards Israel. We saw Jordan shoot down Iranian drones. Reports say Saudi Arabia also chipped in. So will China and Russia risk antagonizing the Arab world? China gets around 15% of their oil from Riyadh. And Russia needs the Arabs to regulate oil prices. So don't expect Putin and Xi Jinping to jump in. But we can't rule out indirect support. Just look at China's response to the war in Ukraine. On paper, they're neutral. But... They continue to help Russia, whether it's by buying Russian energy or selling military parts to the Russian army. Not weapons, but parts. Maybe they could do the same for Iran. But a bigger role would be diplomatic. China and Russia have already criticized the U.S. for helping Israel. They could rally global opinion around this, make it a West versus the rest issue. That requires a lot of diplomatic investment, something that Iran cannot do, but Russia and China can. They could also shield Iran at the United Nations Security Council, maybe veto anti-Iran resolutions. But beyond that, it's a tough ask. We saw the U.S. and the U.K. shoot down Iranian drones for Israel. Don't expect Russia or China to do that for Iran. Iran 
has launched a direct attack from Iranian soil towards the state of Israel. <laughs> 